Hey team, hope you're well. Friday's video, actually on Friday this week. Wow, we got a great, uh, great program today. But first of all, we'd like to start off with saying that this video is brought to you by westcoasteco.com, the tri-coast green site. Okay, what a week, what a week it's rearing up, hey? The power, wealthy elite are shaking in their boots, and they should be. They should be. Uh, and here in Australia, we are just being patronised by the old fossil fuel fashioned, fashioned and uh, old fashioned uh, establishment, corporate media, blah, 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 two party system, blah, 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 boring, non-innovative. No, no strategy for anything for Australia's economic future. Just build more for developers. Like there, there is so much opportunity now for the economy for small business. And what are they doing? They're just handing everything over to developers. Now I've got nothing against uh, people wanting to live in a nice place. And of course, there's lots of jobs there. But uh, there's ways that we can protect all these jobs for tradesmen. And uh, all these industries are uh, not through development. And that's a secret plan I've got. Um, I'm willing to disclose that with members of uh, in, in responsible position if they're, if they're humble enough to allow themselves to come off that pedestal that they're on. They've been on for the last 50 years. But, whoa, I'm very excited, team. I'm very excited. Uh, things are starting to turn around, turning around now. The planet is fighting back. The biology is fighting back against this, this corrupt, greedy old economy that the, that the establishment keep pushing. Uh, it's boring. Uh, everyone's sick of it. I'm, I'm, I'm here at a park uh, near the beach. Everyone wants to be outside. Everyone wants a different kind of lifestyle. We need to innovate. We need to transition our economy and build all this new way of living into people's work lives so they can enjoy their lives so they're not slaving away 70 80 hours a week okay okay there's a lot of things that are that are happening at the moment um some things that are coming to mind as regards to sustainability uh, around the world uh germany Germany, Germany has so many fantastic engineers, so many talented people working in sustainability, developing uh, renewable energy and power fuel uh, microgrid technology in renewable energy. Okay, so many different types of innovative people in Germany, smart people, okay, engineers, scientists, innovators. This is what I'm saying to Germany. Do not let that auto industry hijack your narrative. The German auto industry is hijacking your narrative. Okay, they will steal all your mojo away from all these talented people in your country. Don't let them do it. Okay, they do not have a strategy for the new economy. Okay, they're just pumping out different versions of a, of, a, of, a, of a different type of leather seat in their car, but fundamentally their designs are, aren't keeping pace with what we need to do on the planet, okay? Look, the planet's screaming out, biology's screaming out. Once you, we need to transition the entire world economy to a more greener, sustainable way of life. Humans are screaming out for it. The wildlife is screaming out for it. Biology is screaming out, out for it. These people need to be pulled to task. These people that have been in government, particularly in Australia, this media, this old-fashioned, boring old media that keeps talking about the same boring things, holding wealth in the same boring areas, they need to be pulled to task. We need to dismantle their, their old-fashioned ideals okay and move forward we've got so many great opportunities in this country uh we've got that we've got the environment we've got all the potential to transition and move the economy forward the transport industry here we don't want we we want uh, we want to build our own cars we want to build our own electric sustainable cars we don't want cars dumped from all over the world and it's not that i care um 
who's talented at building cars and these types of things. But I think it's part of a cultural identity to have a representation of your own vehicles on the road. It's it's like it's it's like a um, different styles of art from different areas they have their own cultural aspects and we can learn from different different areas we can progress the the, the auto industry forward if we if, if we've got designs and engineering from particular places we've let these government we've let all these moguls all these media moguls who are just getting fat on boring advertising from all these sacred cow brands that have been around for the last 30 40 years dumping all their advertising dumping their their uh, advertising on us it's boring what about all these insurance ads okay yeah you need insurance you don't need an insurance ad every two seconds on the mainstream news telling you to buy insurance they're so boring they're uninnovative they have no idea they have no concept to take the country forward this, this government, this particular government, will be overwhelmed with just challenges in the next uh, five years, okay, in all different areas. And they are totally unqualified to move the country forward. We need to challenge them. Start, start asking them the hard questions, okay. Now, that, that was a bit of a rant on that particular subject. What else do I want to talk about? The EU, the EU trading bloc. The EU has set uh, guidelines for sustainable investment. This will this will act as a pl as a foundation for all the new engineering, all the new inno innovation. Uh, it was a smart tactical move, okay. And the EU at this present moment is the most unified trading bloc. I'm not saying it's perfect. It's got problems. There's a bit of uh, disunity there. There's a bit of um, there's a bit of disparity, but at, as at the moment as it stands, the EU trading block is the most unified trading block. Okay, nobody trusts the, the US. The, the legacy of the US as a trusted uh, place that's just been torn apart by their current federal administration. Um, it's sad. It's sad. All those servicemen that sacrificed their lives in World War Two, their legacy is being torn apart by this fascist, greedy. Uh, administration in the moment they need to go they need to go they're out with the times okay um, also on that subject I'm thinking about the massive movement to the left in the US um, I make no I make no qualms or secrecy that I'm a, a Bernie supporter um, in fact uh, I've been a Bernie Bernie recognizer for decades even back to the 80s but I but I kept it secret okay and uh, Now's the time that we can see his particular policies that he's been loyal to over the last 40 years. They're coming into play now. Okay, we've got to have all the right variables in all the right positions to, um, to make this a worldwide uh, type of movement. And that's what it's going to be. All, all you power elites, all you media elites, if you think this is just a, just a Western thing that the Murdoch press can hijack and try to uh, use scaremongering with terms like communist and things like that, you are sadly mistaken. This will be a worldwide uh, movement. This will be a worldwide revolution. Uh, the policies that Bernie is promoting are fundamental to human rights. It's not just about the US. It's not just about the West. These basic principles are fundamental to in th the entire humanity. So you better get with it. You better get with it and you better start moving with the times because it's not just about, about the West holding on to its uh, ill-gotten gain this is going to be a worldwide thing it's not a it's not just about bernie it's about the policies that he's he's espousing uh fundamental rights in, across the entire planet okay so get with the times um yeah so th that's just a couple of things that i wanted to talk about i won't won't talk about too 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 much today um but we'll leave it at that uh and I uh, hope you have a great week. Green to stay, make eco fun. Uh, over and out.